Hey everybody, Kyle here with SoftwareMedia.com. Uh, today I'm going to take you through a little review of Autodesk Sketchbook Pro. Now, I'm just going to tell you up front, I love this program. I use it every single day. It is probably one of the coolest, most versatile, and bottom line, super, super inexpensive drawing programs that I've ever used. So this whole program is designed to be used with a pen tablet, whether it be Wacom or Genius or any of the other third-party tablet manufacturers. It is specifically designed for this. All you need is your pen, tablet, and keyboard. So down here on the bottom left, you've got what's called the Lagoon, and all you have to do is with your pen, click and hold, and it'll open up little sub-options. Like um, this is um, both mirror painting options, layer control, uh, the ellipse and ruler tools, which are really, really cool. You can uh, fit to view zoom and rotate, uh, have your canvas be actual size, and you can access all of your different brush types, uh, some color presets. Over here you've got your uh, color palette, and this is all accessible through the toolbar up at the top. You have layer control. Now, what's really cool is this program is probably one of the best I've ever seen for replicating a pencil stroke. So I'm going to go down here to my lagoon, I'm going to open up my brushes and go to my pencil. And this is very, very pressure sensitive. So no matter how, like depending on how hard you push and how good your your drawing tablet is, you can have nice thick lines, little slight light lines, and draw all kinds of crazy stuff with it. So I'm just gonna sketch something really quick just to give you an idea of the different pencil strokes you can do. Now, obviously, I'm not the greatest art in the, artist in the world, so this is just a quick sketch. But you can see all the different kind of strokes and stroke depth that you can get with just with this pencil tool, depending on how hard you press. And I've never seen it, you know, replicated as well digitally as I have in Sketchbook Pro. I mean, in any other drawing programs that I've come in contact with or that I've used, um, I've only ever seen it. it's just a single one pixel thick black line. And that goes for Photoshop or any of those kind of programs, even like the really high-end stuff. So this is great and it's, you know, aptly named Sketchbook. Another cool feature that I really like is just the keyboard commands and how well it works with, you know, you got one hand on your tablet with your pen and then the other hand on your keyboard and just the keyboard commands will access just about anything you can do in the toolbar. For example, if I wanted to change my brush size, this is my current uh, brush stroke, I hold down the B button and then I click and drag and it will adjust the size of my brush. So I'll, if I want to make it bigger, I want to make it smaller, and then if you hold down the V button you get, let's just draw something really quickly, if you hold down the V button you get your scale, rotate, and move. So I can change the size of my image I can move my image on the canvas, and I can rotate my image. And if you hold on the space bar, you can do the exact same thing, but to your canvas. You can zoom in and out. You can rotate it. Rotation actually only works on the PC version. And then you can move your canvas. This is really good if you're the type of person that when you're drawing with paper, you kind of tilt your um, you tilt your paper a lot and draw at different angles. Uh, it's really, really good. And there are a ton of other preset brushes that come with it. Uh, the airbrush is one of my favorites. Just the way you can layer colors together with the airbrush depending on how hard you push. It's great for creating gradients or any kind of, like, it, it's exceptional for flesh tones when you're illustrating or trying to color anything in. It gives it almost a watercolored look. Um, then you have a bunch of simulated Copic markers which are really good and there's a ton of brush presets and I believe you can specify and create your own brush presets. And there are a bunch of different parameters that you can affect with your brushes, the um, how big they are with a heavy pen pressure, you can adjust light pen pressure, the opacities of different pressures, the aspect ratio, the uh, rotation, tons of different stuff. This is such a versatile program, especially for a $50 price point.
you can't beat it. So that's Autodesk Sketchbook in a nutshell. Um, if you got 50 bucks to spend and you want a, an inexpensive drawing program, get Sketchbook. We have it on sale at softwaremedia.com, and it is awesome. This is Kyle. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.